Hello everyone and welcome back to MedBros. Today we're going to be talking about something a little different and that's how to deal with stress and anxiety. I'm going to be talking about what worked for me and how I was able to take on very little stress while still making it to medical school. I think this video will give you a better idea of me and my mentality and I think my mentality was a major factor in me getting to where I am today. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into it. My first recommendation is to take a step back and realize that you're not the most important person in the world and everything you do is not the most important thing in the world. If you're better able to put things in perspective, then your college acceptances, medical school acceptances, your exam scores won't be as devastating when you don't get what you want. If you take things too seriously and think that the world's going to end if you fail at something, then there's way too much weight on your shoulders and that's going to contribute very heavily to stressing you out. You should shift some of the focus from yourself to the people around you, whether it's friends, family, or whoever. By being able to help others around you, that will make you a better person. You'll be stronger, you'll feel more capable, you'll be more positive because in order to be helpful you really do need to be positive. For both you and the people around you, it's a win-win situation. My second point is pretty closely related to this and that's to know what really matters in life. Because I think people take school, success, failing at an exam or a medical school rejection way too hard. And the truth of the matter is, these might seem like the most important thing in the world for you, but they're actually not. You really need to know what matters in life. Your mom is not going to live forever. Your dad is not going to live forever. Chronic diseases may happen in your family and people around you, someone may be handicapped. These are really things to grieve about. A college rejection or complaining about working too hard. These are honestly a bit trivial when you put it in the larger perspective. School, studying, work, these aren't really that bad of a thing. Just put in the hard work, but don't stress over it. My third recommendation is to focus more on the work to get somewhere rather than the result. The way I approach a lot of things in life is I try my best and even if it doesn't work out, that's okay because I really try my best. And when I say try my best, I really mean put in everything I have and that way I'll have no regrets in the future. If you're truly trying your best, then you really should have no regrets about any laziness or anything else you could have done to better the situation. Because that is going to happen in life. You're going to put in a lot of work on an exam or a med school application and you're not going to get the result that you want. That's just how life works. But if you take this mentality, you won't have any regrets about it and you won't lose sleep over it. Also, if you really are trying your best, that means you're bettering yourself. So even in the worst case scenario, let's say I get rejected from all med schools or something really bad happens academically. That's okay because I know I'm trying my best. I know I'm putting my all. One way or another, I'm going to reach success. So that's the mentality I recommend taking instead of stressing out over not getting the outcome you want. My fourth point is to really think about what's stressing you out and what's de-stressing you. It's really easy to lose sight of what's actually calming you down, what's making you more tense. So you really need to sit down and think about the things you do on a daily basis that are causing what result. For example, you might hang out with friends after school and you might think that that's a great de-stressor. But if you actually think about it and you realize that your friends are pressuring you to do things and it's a negative environment, then that de-stressor might have actually been a stressor. If you actively think about it, you'll be able to remove these things out of your life. And on that same note, you need to realize what de-stresses you and do that more often. And make sure you make time for that. It's really easy for people to not properly pursue things that are de-stressing them due to one reason or another. You need to think about what de-stresses you, whether it's music, getting more sleep, a certain activity, a certain sport, and you need to pursue that and make sure you make time for it. And now for the mother of all stress. You need to stop comparing yourself to everyone else. It is so stressful to do that. Whether it's social life, money, educational success, 
Comparing yourself in this way is the worst possible mindset to have. An easy way to reduce the stress here is to get off sites like Facebook that are really negative in this sense and really increase stress. Because we're human, everyone is guilty of making these comparisons at one point or another. And we really need to reduce this mentality. I think the reason we compare ourselves so often is because the world we live in emphasizes accomplishments and success way, way too much. The mentality that millionaires are better than people poorer than them or that lower paying jobs, those people don't deserve any respect or that you need to prove your worth by being successful, this is the wrong approach to life. Everyone is unique and important in their own way, so don't feel the pressure to succeed or prove your worth because of others around you. Accomplishments are only important for yourself not as a basis of comparison to others. The world today is so focused on productivity and success that I think we just threw quality of life out the window. Trying to constantly keep all of these things in mind are ways that really reduce my stress level on my way to medical school. So I really wanted to make this video and share this with you in the hopes that it would help and I hope it did. And if you liked it, please subscribe and please have a positive and happy life. See you next time.